Okay, for the vendors who are yet to add a profile picture to their vendor dashboard to their account, here is how to quickly add a picture to your account. But the reason for this picture is not that it's a, it's a compulsory thing, but it's very necessary when one is looking at you on the uh, Afriplate account, they see your, your, your logo, not just displaying a dummy uh, kind of uh, logo. So let me, let me show you this example here before we proceed. So this is afripnet.com forward slash store listing. So this store listing shows all the vendors that are registered on Afripnet. That so if you look at this now, this is at the Ray Unique Home Ventures. This is our own. You can see no profile picture. Afripnet. This is a uh, after BNTL Limited. This is Twif Twif Okay. This Tele Oduloye. So here are all the vendors on Afripnet website that are registered as vendors. Some have their their DP and banner uploaded. You can see this one here has no banner. This has no banner. The banner is supposed to be displayed here. Let me see if anyone has uploaded banner to his or her vendor account. So when you when you look at this now, the, here are the vendors that we have on the platform. Page two, page three. If you cannot find yourself here, that means you are not yet registered. And the best thing, first thing you need to do now is to go and edit your account so that your profile picture will. Uh, actually be displayed some of the people i have their profile picture have uh, uploaded them already those that contacted me for that so but let's go back to the vendor dashboard so that you see how you can add your own profile picture and your banner image to this uh to your vendor account So here is the vendor dashboard. So the first thing you need to do is to click on this. If you have not added your vendor uh, picture, your logo, what you will see here will be the initials of your name. Let's say this is TWIFME. You will see TE. So you are going to see the first two uh, initials of your names. So you go to store settings. You click on store settings. You scroll down so here is where you put your profile image and your banner image the banner image is to appear here so once you click on the add profile picture you can select media from your from your gallery or you add your new logo you add your logo as a that's from the upload files So once that is done, you, you can proceed with by saving your image and that is done. So the next thing that I will be looking at is uh, that is the payout. Because after you receive any order, Africa needs to pay you your money at a stated time, number of days you receive your money. So you need to go to this payout, you click on payout. So if you don't have any set payout account, so you need to set up, configure where you uh, your money should be paid into. So what you need to do is to hit on this configure. This is my name here. This is my address. You put in your details. This is my account details. You put your bank details here. Once that is done, you click on the save info. Yes, you continue. After saving that, you can now apply for withdrawal. That is when you have any funds in your account. So you can see here now I have 95,500 in my account for the sales uh, from a sales on the AfriPnet website. This is 95,500. Okay, let me put 95. I want to withdraw 95,000 error. I click on make a request. Then 
Once that is done, a mail will be sent to us and to you as well for this uh, particular action you just took. So what says do we need to look at? Whenever you receive any order, this is where your order will appear. Orders. So you receive your orders here. You can print it out. You can view the order from here. Hold on. So you view your order from here. The status is completed. So once you receive any order and you have <coughs> shipped any of the product, maybe you have sent it out to the person, you can put it on processing. At the first instance, once the order comes in, it, it stays on, on hold. So once you start processing the order, you select processing and then you, you update. You update it here. So once you place it at processing, you update, then once the order is completed, we can also do that from our end, but you can as well do that once you notice that once the item has been delivered, you can actually come into your vendor dashboard to select completed, then you update the account again so that the person will actually receive a note that, okay, your order has been completed. You can see once it's on hold, uh, this is your order is on its way. A new shipment was created. Pro okay, this is a provider, Emi Wonder Delivery. So you can also put in the details of the details of the delivery person you are using. So the person you are sending these items to will receive this message that okay, see the person, the delivery guy coming to deliver your item to you. So they can also click here under this. Uh, click to track shipment you can uh, you can just put a whatsapp number there or a whatsapp uh, link so they can message you to also get details of the delivery and all that or you put the 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 delivery guys contact there